Hi and welcome to this extended origami tutorial. I've got a lot of questions about how I make my origami wings of the flies that I post on Instagram and um, it's really nice to get a lot of questions and I've done a tutorial before but I thought I'd do a, an extended version of the tutorial because I mainly use um, origami wings for these kinds of caddis flies this is a spent caddis with CDC feathers and um, this is another spent caddis with two kinds of shapes to the wings and you can even use origami wings to form completely different shapes like this bat for example but like I said mainly I use it for well, at least for fishing purposes of the caddis flies, this particular fly has caught like at least over 15 fishes and it it looks like it's been to hell and back, but it holds together actually. And yeah, it's, it's a really durable way of um, tying in wings on your caddises. So um, I use these um, kinds of feathers here it's a white ink octillion combo pack or something that i bought but uh, you can use any type of feather basically but and these are i i mean they are advertised for streamers and saltwater flies and whatever but i've i've almost only used them for origami wings because they have these really nice long fibers and the length of the fibers uh, is crucial to the um, to the origami wing technique so uh, you strip away the fluffy stuff of the feather you can stroke the fibers back like this and for um for a right wing caddis you um, strip the underside of the of the feather like this and then you grab a pair of tweezers and like I said the length of the fibers determines how big or long your wing can be but then you grab a pair of tweezers and you pinch the stem like this move it a bit and pinch it again, move it even a bit further, and pinch it again, and then your your feather looks like this. So you stroke all the fibers back again, and you fold it like this. No, that was a sloppy fold. So let me try and explain this a bit better. Before you fold, you want to make sure you know what fibers you want to go on top of the wing. In this case, the upper fibers, they go on top of the lower fibers, which may gives the wing this look, like this. And of course, if you want to, you can make the upper fibers go under the lower fibers and that gives this result it's slightly different and i think it's just a matter of taste really but make sure you know what you want before you fold it otherwise it really gets uh, messy so back to the tutorial and then you grab a, a little nozzle it's it's a standard nozzle for silicone tubes and uh, so it's nothing fancy but it's really good because you just run this feather through the nozzle and out on the other side comes out a caddis wing like this and to tie it in you basically pinch it like this and like this and uh, well you see there there's a fiber that I didn't want to play and this wing has a, it's not the perfect shape so 
no worries we can pinch it to give it a, a lower profile and then run it through the nozzle again you can do this as many times as you want basically until you get the fibers to align the way you want now that's a bit better and if there are some fibers that you're not pleased with that doesn't want to behave you can in, when, when the feather sits in the nozzle like this you can adjust individual individual fibers with a like a dubbing needle like this this fiber here for example come on play with me yes like that so i mean for fishing purposes this doesn't really matter but but if you want the perfect instagram picture you might want to make sure that all the fibers play game and when you tie it in you just hold it like this and i usually do like two loose turns like this and while it sits like this you can adjust um, the, the position a bit and you can even if you want no i want this to be a bit higher profile you can grab this here and pull it a bit and and fine trim the the wing that you want and then you secure it tightly by wrapping around and put a little super glue here by the end of it when you're pleased with the feather because that will lock all the fibers in place and you will have a wing that uh, is really durable and you can pull it and grab it and it will still look the same basically so that's the caddis wing and if you want to do the um, mayfly wing you uh, do exactly the same you pull away the fluffy stuff and stroke the fibers back and for a right wing for a mayfly you want to strip the upper side of the feather like this yeah like that and you grab your tweezers and you pinch it where the top will be and then you pinch it again a bit down the feather or a bit up rather like that and then stroke the fibers back again fold it come on and here you can choose if you want the the top fibers of the feather to go on top of all the other feathers or the other way around that's a, just a matter of taste then you run it through the nozzle and when it comes out that little pinch we did right there will make sure it has more of a mayfly shape like that and here you can also i mean this fiber here doesn't want to play and you can just that a bit with a with a um, dubbing needle ah, well it, it it kind of takes a bit of time sometimes but when you want to tie it in you just pull it out place it where it's you want to pl uh, place it and tie it in and this shape reminds you of the the original origami feather that was Invented or tied by Jens Pilgård, a Danish fly tire, and he used a feather like this, stripped feather, and I think he actually cut the fibers of the feathers here, like in a small angle, I think. But you don't have to do it, but it can look quite nice. But he grabbed the top of the feather like that with a pair of tweezers. And then, with your fingers, you pull them all the way down. And when they're like this, you pull out this side of it, and you get the mayfly shape. Quite a beautiful shape. And uh, I haven't done this technique uh, a lot, so. But that's the the original version, and I think he actually locked this in place by tying a thread around it while it still was between his fingers but I think you can tie it in right here as well 
So that's the original version. But with the nozzle technique, you can you can use any shape that you want. Basically, this is a feather that I've pre uh, tweaked a bit uh, in in many places, as you see. And when I run it through the nozzle, we get another shape like this. Well, it's not perfect, it takes a bit of time, but as you see, this is the bat shape that I did a while back. Um, this one right here. So, I mean, it takes a bit of time to get all the fibers aligned the way you want to. You might have to stroke them a couple of times or adjust them and make sure the wing is, that the wing isn't too big and whatever. But after a while and um, a bit of time and practice and thoroughness you can get any shape you want basically so that's pretty much all the secrets that I that I have with the origami wing style and I mainly do this with the caddis as you might have noticed but like I said go ahead and uh, experiment with the technique because it's really fun and it's I think it's really beautiful to watch as well so thank you for watching and if you have any questions you can put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you, bye.